welcome back then this is part four as you see I've built on the course some more mountains from the last film we're going to build now some whales on the outside of the course and we also do a couple of undulations on the course now looking at the course you look down this side it's very thin if I just darken it or lighten it as you see the, the, there's not much room between the outside rail and the inside rail so okay. what we'll do is we just take a bit of this out and widen the course but first we have to start with the bell so it's always good to start on the outlines of the course so the click whales I'll click finish set in case if you click this it's green here it's live and if you as you can see you can move the wheel and you finish set it'll go right so I know now I can start a new set and this is for the outside of the course so I'm gonna sort of do this it won't take long This wheels is just a jump course on this one because this is a point to point course. There's no flat racing and there's no hurdles. So the course will not will only come to one type of race. Of course on other courses you'll have multiple codes and there are of course track will be a lot wider. Doesn't matter how wide I go down here, this is a straight and I need plenty of space. Yeah, just it'll just be the one fence down this part of the course. I'll just follow the dark line. I don't usually put wheels all the way around on the point to point course because you wouldn't get it all the way around the point to point course you'd be just guiding the horse this way to go usually but you're gonna if you make a real race course which is, you know a full race course which wheels all the way around then you're gonna need to know how, how to do the wheels as you can see, I can press build now and I'll show you. And you can see it's building what I've already done so far. So if you let me keep on it, I just always good to try and do the corners smooth and more because it makes the corners look better. And it is swing around easier now this part of course I'm going to widen so I'm going to go down here because I need if you get 20 minutes you may not get them all in so I'm taking this course wider than what it's supposed to be And then hopefully, when it comes to belt, it will take him on the worst. As you can see, I'm coming to the end now. So, put one more in, and then I'll press belt. Uh, as you see, the wheels are the right way on. Sometimes they end. If you toggle support, and they're built this way with the inside the wheels on the inside you know to press transport and it'll collect it on the other side now to join this up you just put join wheels and that's it you finish you finish the wheel set and that's the outside of the course so that's your course now now you do wheels now we're gonna put the stretcher down here as undulating 
so we're going to make it go up and then down and back up and then level so what I'll do I like to make this a slight incline actually so what I'll do I'll decide where to I don't usually like to do do this on a bend because it's very difficult to do so move in just a little bit I click terrain and splines. So one is where I start. Two, I want to just a slightly go up hill. I'll be careful you don't do too much, otherwise. responding so I'll delete that one try again there we go I just want to go slightly down and then the next one slightly up the next one just up a bit but not as much as this one. It's very fidgety, F3 and F4, you know. And then another one here. That will come down. One more, just go up just a little bit. And we'll want it to come down again. So I'll fit, click finish it. So all up and that will side of the track will go down up and then back down up and then back down level hopefully it should be all right so now I need to do another set this side so click there there actually I missed one there and I missed number two so I put that down there, I'm using the D to go right and A to go left. Right. <coughs> so I'll click on this set again. Now I'm going to align this up. So click a line, height, click one and three one. Align height again. I can just see the little dot there, so I'll click on that. And then this one. Line height. This one. This one. Line height. Number four. And item number five, which is back down on level ground. Line eight six, which is up in the air again. And seven to come back down. Right, so the whole line. So I'll set a pair, which always use the first ones. Click that one and that one. The pad now I'm gonna pull out just a little bit. So you can see Let build press build as you see of course I'll start up level it'll go up instead of come down we'll build it up again and then down and as you look you see the whale has disappeared well mm. don't worry about that so what we do now we'll press finish and save press save so it's all saved mm. now we're going to exit the game and load it back up 
I need to move the cam so I can exit. So I'm just going to exit the game. And then I click there to open it back up. And it come back down. Right, we're going to load it back in. Of course, <coughs> we're doing this on the desktop in the point to point courses. back in that side will be built but the wheels should be back to where they were as you can see that's what it looks like up down and up and down that's how you do your undulations on your race track as you can see from this which always goes up. So that's how you do hand deletions on the base track. Um, I hope that is helpful for you. Now I'm going to do a couple more where I'm going to steadily make this go uphill. So what I'll do again is Click to rain, spleens, and number one, it can be flat, easy to go for this way. This time I'm going to spread them out a bit and if it has to break too much, that's just steadily going up. Gotta be careful, don't do it too much. And it looks like this part of the course normally goes down anyway with the way it's looking, so I would dip downhill there. But just for this time, then. Oh, don't forget to finish with the set. And then we put this new set in a four. I'm trying to line as best as possible. Okay, now we need to click finish it again, now we need our line knees. One, oh. Once you get used to it, you start building courses pretty quick. Um, just getting used to it first, once you're used to it, it it's Better check that one because there we go. And the last one, <laughs> like I said, once you get used to it, and get, you can get pretty quick at this. But it's picture D, F3 and F4 to move these up and down to build it. Oh, I am set up here, so yeah. See, you, you don't even get that one, and that one. And now we build it. There, and that's built it. As you can see, again, the wheel has disappeared, but what you do again is you finish and save. And you load it back in and it should be fine. So we'll exit. I don't know if I press save then, so I'll save it again just in case. I press exit and I'll load it back in. So, 
I'm going to go forward, of course. There we go. And see, the wheels are back, and the track goes up. So that's some undulations for you. Now we're going to put some trees in now. Try and shape the outside of the course. As you can see, where the trees would be. And we'd be on here. So we click on entities and we click on billboards and I use number two because it's the best tree to use and once the game is in 3D you get different kind of trees available, there's only one tree um, making it but once the game is done the game will manage to put different versions of trees in for you to but just use number two I was just to you. I'm gonna you can do a single tree by the clicking. You see that's too big. And I know why it's too big because that's come out of my status of just six games. So I'm gonna save that because actually I'm gonna click it that off and reload it. But this time I'm gonna load it from my Steam account, where I know the trees are fine. Like I said, I know the Steam one will be okay. The trees should be fine in the Steam ones, because I've never used it. Uh, sometimes To build uh, on the edge uh, from the steam and a load will pat again. This time the tree will, will be the proper size. I know that tree in that sort of six head uh, is not working properly, but in this one it was, hopefully, still is. So, clean entities billboard here's number two and right click there so as you can see that's what it's supposed to look like now if we press spray and whatever that circle is that's where all trees will be built so see you, you do a bunch and there and up there you can use trees has a hedge for you on separate fields as you see I just from where I think they would be um, some in the horizon they look good when you built some on this mountain up there. Pop it up a bit. This is spraying them on. The trees is you just right clicking. Be careful when you put them, you don't put them in the middle of the course on the track. Looks like there's a couple of trees down here. Not too many. Couple here, couple here, and then there's none in the middle of the course. You see some on the other side of the course, yeah. And we got wheels there, so we have to be careful here. Yeah. So I would just bring some on the other side of the course. And follow the line really. Um, here also. It's coming up to nearly 20 minutes, so I'll put a couple more trees in for you. And we'll finish this lesson off. 
um, so the course is nearly ready. What we'll do on the next one is we will flood fill the track. That's this bit all the way around. We'll flood fill with that with what we're going to use as the track, and then we will do some work on the outside fields to colour them in, and some of the mountains in the next lesson then after that we'll put the fences in and then we we'll, we will try and do some waypoints for you the course the horses will take which I think is what most people want to learn really but that's lesson four for you as you can see the course is coming along nicely I will see you in the next lesson